gentlemen here we are mikey b what in the world <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we are doing things a little bit differently here this evening this is the christmas special you wouldn't know it by what me and joe oh, are wearing um but mikey bear down because came in very festive and i appreciate that and I, I do want to give credit here because we bust each other's balls a lot all the time. Uh, Mikey Bear Down Cuz is throwing a party this evening with the whole family. He's got family, friends coming over. Didn't matter. He was going to get the podcast in for the greater good. And I respect that about you. I appreciate that about you, Mikey V. Um, and here we are. This is another edition here of the Brilliant Dumb Show. Usually we do our buy and sell segment. I start off, then we transfer into these gentlemen right here. Um, we are not doing that this evening. Uh, this evening, we are going to be doing the entire show with Mikey Bear Down Cuz, with Joey Cold Cuts. We're rocking and rolling. Uh, me and Cold Cuts are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mikey Bear Down Cuz, of course, tap it in from Jersey. Um, let's get dancing here, gentlemen. Okay, I think we can all agree. Let's get this all out here. Mikey Bear Down, am I wrong? We're all a little bit banged up here tonight. Yeah, a little buzz, guys. Cuts okay. I'm. I'm. I he's eating check smart. In. First off, he's eating smart food popcorn, which is is just a little bit disrespectful for the integrity of the show. And just uh, white you, cheddar smart smart food popcorn is it's a it's nice, a nice. It is a nice little snack. You just get. You know, I hate snacks where they it leaves so much residue on the fingers. Yeah, I see the fingers now, aren't see, too bad. You were su- th- now. Don't lie because you were just caught red-handed, literally sucking your fingers. <laughs> Because it's one of those things. It's like a Dorito. It just happens. Yeah. Bear down, I there actually, is residue. I, I actually respect the hell out of what you said about the residue on the fingers. Because I because I love smart food popcorn. But my one knock with it is you do get the residue on the fingers. Same thing with the Dorito. What do you think from a snack wise? Uh, uh, a snack that does not cause the residue on the fingers. What would you say? Oreo cookie. Oh, the Oreo cookie is one. I love that. Um, you know, the uh, the pretzel. Um, now you could go a variety of different pretzels. You could go with the peanut butter stuffed pretzel, uh, pretzel nuggets. You know, any type of pretzel is not going to leave any type of residue. But the way you got to eat the white, the the white cheddar smart food popcorn, Joe, is you open the bag and you pour it into your mouth. You don't actually ever stick like your paws in there. Yep. That's the exact way to eat it. You never run into any problems. That's the way to go. Also, Cheetos, another one where it's like it's no great. Well, Cheetos. You get some residue, though. No, you got a lot of Cheetos. residue. No, no, I'm saying Cheetos is another one where you got to just open the bag and just pour. I'll give you a snack that you get no residue. Beef jerky. What yeah, about no, that one. Not a not a jerky guy. Not a, you're, you're not, not a jerky. jerky See, that that guy? actually no. that that, that shocks me. Yeah, bear that, down. That's nope, very nope, surprising nope, to nope, me. Nope. Bear down. When I think of Mikey Bear down, because I think of a beef jerky guy. No, uh, not at all. for sure. No, if I'm going to eat beef jerky, the Italian version or the translation to that would be uh, like like hot super sod or, uh, you know, some type of uh, cold antipasto, you know, uh, like uh, dried sausage, you know, something like that. And then we're talking. But to me, beef jerky is like I, I can't do it. Something mentally won't let me do it. Maybe it was the Randy Savage Slim Jim commercials from my <laughs> Mikey B, do, do me a favor. Show the sweater again. That that thing is <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's unbelievable. It's that thing honest. is next level. Now, now, I, I gotta tell you, I had a feeling that you guys were bullshitting about the sweaters, and I really did. I had no guys, idea these about guys the sweaters. aren't gonna wear sweaters. Gold cuts. I didn't know about the sweaters to be you honest. You didn't know about the sweaters. I have a voice memo from you saying confirmed <laughs> sweater wearing, confirmed Christmas <laughs> sweater wearing in gamblers. I just I would say uh, gentlemen, let let's I want to jump right into this, okay. I want to get into our buy and sell segment. And again, I said we're doing a little things a little bit differently here on the show this afternoon. Okay. We're all buzzed up. It's the holiday spirit. Cuts and got some great content in today. Bear down throwing a rager of a party today. We got the Monday night football here tonight. There's a lot to be excited about. We're rolling with the boys the whole way through. Um, and bear down, we are going to go ahead and we are going to start with you. This is our buy and sell segment. We know how it all goes. What did you see this weekend that you liked? What did you not like? <laughs> buy or sell segment started off with Mikey Bear Down Cuz. Well, I'll tell you who I'm selling right away. While everyone else is buying them, I'm selling Jake Paul heavy. Heavy sell. Yeah, I'm so glad we actually got into this. I'm so Whoa. I'm so glad. How many times <laughs> do I have to watch this guy beat up the same the same bum? How many times I gotta watch it? I gotta listen to how Jake Paul's gonna be this 
great boxer. Okay, he's 5-0, and oh, whatever he is. Fight somebody that's an actual professional boxer before I have to listen to how this guy is is the next uh, you know, Canelo Alvarez. But Stop. Man, Stop. He's, been, Stop. he's been fighting for two years. I don't care that he's been fighting for two years. I really don't. He, I don't and, care and, that he's been fighting for two years. And by the way, with this Woodley fight, Woodley was one of the best fighters in the UFC. In the now, UFC, but he's not a, he's not a boxer, though. You know, that's, there's, but a would tra- you, there's a would, transition. Would you agree that that's close to half the battle right there? What? Right, the, the boxing. What do you mean? Half the battle for what? What are we talking about? I mean, as, it, as far as Woodley, Tyron Woodley has to be able to box to some degree to be able to be in the UFC and be as dominant as he was. I actually find the whole Jake Paul thing to be fascinating. Oh, I find it fascinating too. I'm just selling him as a boxer. I just, I, listen, I think, yeah, he knocked him out. Great punch. The fight was, the fight was about to go the distance. Uh, he landed a great punch, knocked him out. That could happen to anybody. But as far as I'm concerned, if you're asking me if I'm buying stock in this guy as, as a legitimate boxer one day, I'm selling it. I'm not buying it. And okay. now if, the, if he fights a real professional fighter who's a, box, a boxer, who's been boxing, who's a trained boxer since, you know, whenever they trained as a boxer, not as a UFC fighter, I think he gets, I think he gets beat quite, quite easily. But did you watch that fight? Did you watch the knockout and you weren't impressed by the knockout? I did. I mean, but anybody, listen, you land a punch like that. Anybody could knock somebody out with a punch I, like that. I, look, I want to see Jake Paul get knocked out. I do, but I'll be the first to tell you. I, I think what he's doing is amazing. I, I, I'm i fascinated by the whole thing. And I'll even say, even his brother Logan, I mean, him to go dance in the way that he went with Mayweather for that long, it was a terrible fight. But just to be able to go, Cuts, he's got his hand up. He's had his hand up for quite some time now. So we got to head over to Joey Cole Cuts. I just want to know, bear down, how do you think you would fare if you had to go in a ring with Jake Paul? It's a great question. I just want to know, like, what do you think? Like, all, do you think you could last a couple rounds? That's a do you great think question. you would hit some punches? Yes. yes. Do you think you would go the distance? And, no, and I, I don't know if I'd go the distance, but here's the thing. How long do I have to prep? How long? How long? I'm frozen. Prep? I'm not frozen. You guys are on hotel Wi-Fi. I am not frozen. I am, <laughs> so I'm wait, on, wait. I am on Xfinity premium <laughs> Wi-Fi. I am not. I promise you, I am not frozen. Shout out. Uh, bear, bear, well, bear um, on. You think you can build the distance? Here's the, here's what I know. Let me give you a couple facts. <laughs> Number one, this Jake Paul guy has no children, to my knowledge. Is not married, to my knowledge. Doesn't have a full time job. His other girlfriend's than being, hot. Uh, okay, that's great, great, great. So what? It, so Joseph, what? that has nothing, nothing to do with that, anything. But but you I know mean, what? To bear down, talk he about does me that. in my twenties, maybe you know I you know I'm not he, gonna go there. Bear but, down, he <laughs> does that all the time. I know he does he, he, all the time. It has I'm just gonna give you to the facts. With... I'm gonna give you the facts. I want to hear the facts. I don't think he has kids. If I'm not mistaken, he doesn't have a wife. He doesn't have a full time job. His job is he's a YouTuber. God bless. He's living the American dream. He, he creates content for a living. God bless. I, I love it. I, you know what? I'm all for that. But if I had the amount of time that this man has to train for two years where that's all I did, and you know me, Bob, I'm a, I, I like to work out. I'm, I'm a guy who finds physical fitness to be an important thing. And I find the time to carve out in the schedule I have with two little kids, a wife, a full-time job. I still find the schedule running the, the page, all that shit. I still find the time five, six days a week to work out. If I had this guy's availability of training for two years, I would say that not only would I be able to fight him. First of all, I don't think he'd fight me. That's not, that's another, another thing. I don't think he's going to take on somebody <laughs> six, seven, two seventy. I just don't think that's going to happen. Maybe he's going to complain about how it's different weight classes and that's fine. That's fine. I, Cause I don't disagree because I think if I landed one punch, I'd knock him out. I think I'd knock him out with one punch. My hand is the size of his head. Can I get uh, cuts? You know what Bear Down does? Bear Down's a very competitive guy. <laughs> he goes toe to toe on the Peloton with Brian Erlacher. And him and Erlacher are close with <laughs> Erlacher, a, a Chicago Bear great. Him and, him and Brian Erlacher go head to head on the Peloton. And Erlacher puts up insane numbers. Insane but then numbers. Mikey Bear Down puts up insane numbers too. I'm a smidgen below Erlacher, which is now, insane. What 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 came up the other day, okay, which is <laughs> something that I can't wrap my head around. And 
I will be the first to tell you, I, I work out just about every single day too. I can never put up the numbers that bear down puts up. It, it's, it's impressive He's a beast. between calories burned and in the time that he does it, how far he goes on the belt. It's, it's fascinating, but bear down claim the other day after the Jake Paul fight, cause he knew that I was very high. I, I I've said it before. I'll say it again. I, I find the Jake Paul thing to actually be very fascinating. What he's able to do. I think he looks like a pure boxer. He looks great. Yes. Woodley smaller than him and, I'm very impressed by it. But what Bear Down, the claim that Bear Down made after the fight <laughs> was Mikey Bear Down believes that him coming in the 10 percentile of top all 10, top 10 percentile, the top 10 percentile. Wait, hold on. What's the difference between the top 10 percentile and the 10 percentile? Well, I mean, you're no saying difference. 10 percentile. Maybe people don't mean you know, it. Well, for, you know, less less educated minds out there, perhaps they don't know what 10 the top. 10th percentile. So yes. is it fair to say out of a hundred Peloton riders, you're 100. in a hundred, but, but that would be the top. That's 10. for the, yes. that's the, that's the, yes, you're right, Bob. He'd be in the top 10. Sure, out of absolutely. Oh, absolutely. right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 So, yes. so you out of a random sample size of a hundred, that's what he's I, saying. That's what he's I'm saying. I'm in the, I'm in the top 10 percentile. Do you know how many users Peloton has Bob? How many do they have? 5.9 million. <laughs> 5.9 5. million. <laughs> Correct. So, okay. so, so you feel that you being in the 10 percentile of all Peloton users yep. is more impressive than Jake Paul's run of knocking out Tyron Woodley, um, yep. <laughs> doing everything that Jake Paul has done. You, you think that that is a bigger feat for you than yes. Jake Paul doing what Jake Paul done. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why you're taking the totality, <laughs> the, the totality of the circumstances again. The fact that he's not married, doesn't have kids, doesn't have a full-time job. The fact I do all three of those things and I've only been on this bike for one year. And in one year's time with dedication, hard training, I've risen to the top 10 percentile out of 5.9 million users when I've never ridden a stationary Can bike. Can I see like some kind life? of yeah, documentation? I, 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 would, I, I do. would like that to. would show that you're in the top 10. I don't need, to, I don't no, need, no, no, to, no, I don't no, need no. to show you documentation because that receipt's already been shown. Joe. Up, so okay, you either need in, to, yeah, you need I'm to not keep up with that. the times, pal. I'm not going to fight that. He's in the 10%. He's shown you the certification. I don't, I know for a fact. I'm not doubting you, Mike. I just would like to see it because that's a yeah, big you are doubting thing. me. You are. You are I just you would are like joking. to see the statement. I, you're, you are. Big statement. It's fine. I'll post it again. 5.9 million is a lot of people. But, but I'm just Katsi, saying I just got you're goddamn right. It is Cutsy. I want to ask you this. OK, I'm curious for you to chime in on this. All right. What do you I mean, how do you feel about because I personally I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. And I'll always give credit to bear down with this whole Peloton thing that he's done. I find it very impressive. But to compare it. To what Jake Paul has done, I think is ludicrous. Gutsy, I want to ask you. Well, I think you got to take a couple things into account. The fact that Bear Down has a full time job. Yep. And and the fact that he's a dad of two yep. kids. Uh, right. One of little them being kids. A, little kids. Well, one of them being almost a newborn. Um, yep. That 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 does take a lot of time out of out of the day to day schedule. I think that that definitely needs to be taken into account. I'll give Bear Down that. Um, Jake Paul, aside from you know. What, what does he do on the side? I mean, Julia Rose, and that's <laughs> exactly. that's about it. Um, exactly. I, I just don't know, like, the regimen of what it takes to be a top 10 percentile Peloton user. <laughs> there, is, there is no regimen. It's either like, you got it or you don't. You have it or you don't. The that's, thing is, is no Bear Down, is that this guy, Jake Paul's putting himself out there on national television in front of millions of people. He's putting himself have... out there that if he gets knocked out, there's no joke. Like, I... Are you putting yourself out there like amongst the Peloton users that oh, you're yeah. like oh, yeah. rising oh, yeah. to the gauntlet day in, oh, day absolutely. out? I mean, listen, I put my I put my handle out there. I do the rides. I mean, I do all these rides with the top instructors. So I'm going against people in the most popular rides. It's not like I'm choosing obscure rides. I'm using Jess King. So I'm you're using, you're saying no, I don't want to <laughs> drop names because no one's going to know exactly. what. But Jake, Jake Paul also has the, the, the clout to be able to put himself on national television. I don't have that. He's got millions. You got of a clout. little clout. Oh, you got some clout. I have a little. You got some clout, clout there, Bear Down. Not compared to Jake Paul. First of all, you got that sweater going, and second of all, you do got some clout. And 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 my question is, Bear Down, is when you go in a class, you're the top ten percentile. Are you better than the instructors giving no, you the lesson? No, 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 no. 
No, I mean, the instructors, I mean, they're paid to be instructors. I mean, now they don't show you the, the Do you instructor get stats. They don't show a, instructor stats. I mean, no. But but my point is this, is that Bear Down is, if you're that high up in the company, maybe at some point you need to look at a transition I don't and think become a ever, Peloton instructor. I think I'm too controversial. I don't think they would they would like me on that. What, controversial for what? You're riding the Peloton. I am, but I just think, you know, there's a certain image that I think Peloton wants to put out there, and I think, Honestly, I contradict Surely the Mikey Bear Down cuz <laughs> image is, is one that everybody wants to see a six foot seven fit, you know, you know, a, a determined individual. Now, now I'm giving you down, for a bad football down. team, but aside from that, you, you got everything going. Bear down, let, football team. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you this, Bear down, okay? Yes, yes, pal. Let's say you give Cutsy, <laughs> let's say you give Joey Cold Cuts two months to prepare yep. for Peloton rides. Okay. Two months. Cold okay. cuts wants to be in the highest percentile as possible. Well, that's not really. Fair. Well, let's, let's, let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Out of the two months that cold cuts has to prepare. What percentile do you think Joey cold cuts would find himself in? I say top 40 to 35 percentile. Maybe I'll take I mean, that you're the one you keep saying, Bob, that he's, he, he has this engine and I've seen, I've seen videos. The man, you know, I think if Cuts got serious with his regime, you said he's a, he's a distance player. You know he can he can go the distance. Yep. He's an endurance type of guy. That's the kind of perseverance it takes. I know one thing about Joey. One thing about Joey is when he sets his mind on something and he sinks, sinks his teeth in, he's like a pit bull. That's yeah, one. I absolutely I am, Bob. Yeah, That's if you one don't thing say so yourself, Joey Cold Cuts. Oh uh, no, I got the heart of a warrior. I'm, I'm maybe not the body <laughs> of one, but I got the heart of a warrior. <laughs> I think the, I mean I, I I think I think I agree with that. I agree. What 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 Cold Cuts has is the same thing that I think Jake Paul actually has, and I know I'm giving a lot of credit to Jake Paul. What Cold Cuts has is if you want to take him out in something like that, or if you threw Cold Cuts into an octagon, if you wanted to beat him, you would have to kill him. You would have to kill him. Yeah, I am the, of the same mentality. Like if I ever got in a fight with Jake Paul, he'd have to kill me. He would have to kill me because, and I say that with a dead straight face, if he would have to put me down, you'd have to kill me. I'd I love to not, promote a bear stop. down versus Jake Paul stop. fight just to see Mikey bear down cash in on some extra. Now curriculum. I don't know about boxing, but if this was just like a street fight where there's no rules, he would have to kill me. He would have to, he would have to physically kill me because there's no way I'm stopping. I don't care what he does to me. There's no way. Mikey, show me the size of your fist here. <laughs> I mean, that is, old, yeah. that is a big old <laughs> hammock there, Bob. I mean, one of those to the jawline wait, would wait. do some fucking damage. Mikey V, talk to me about this Christmas party here tonight that you're hosting. At well, the, yeah, the- I mean, you're making it out to be a little bit more than it is, I think. But, um, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I got a couple buddies over. My one buddy who actually is, you know, he's very gifted as a cook slash chef. He's bringing over. So he does this uh, this thing where it's called home te- home team cooking. So he does every Monday night football. He does an entire menu inspired by whoever hosts the Monday night football game. So wow. if it's hosted, you know, if it's hosted by LA, he does LA themed. If it's hosted by Miami, Miami themed, et cetera, and so forth. Tonight is Chicago. So obviously he comes over the house. We're going to do the whole thing. We got Chicago, ki- uh, Chicago pigs in a blanket, mini dogs baked in puff pastry with poppy seeds with a Chicago dog relish, tomato, onion, dill pickle, Pepperoncini mustard celery salt. We got smoked Chicago Italian beef sandwiches. Oh, uh, wow. Home, homemade hot jardine. Uh, however you pronounce that. Yep. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. French rolls. Homemade oh, deep uh, dish. Homemade au jus. And then the third thing is the deep dish with hot and sweet sauce. Whoa. I Can I see a what? picture of that? Bear? There's yeah, I'm going to put, I'm going to put pictures up on my story. Once it starts rolling out. He's Bear down. Dogs this, right I, now. This sounds very impressive. Um, I want to, I want to finish off on that buy or sell segment. Okay. So bear down is selling Jake Paul. Okay. Somebody that I'm going to buy. And I think we all know by now I'm definitely buying Jake Paul. I find the whole thing to be fascinating, but another guy that I'm going to buy Charlie Woods. I don't know if you guys got a chance. Cutsy. We watched a little bit of that, uh, PNC championship tiger woods and Charlie played together father son tournament um cutsy bet on it which to me was sick and he was yelling at these kids and he was screaming at the tv um which again to me is is sickening a lot of but, people bet on it bob 
But Joseph, here's the problem with 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 your betting right now. Okay, if I may, the problem with with betting with cold cuts is, and I'm buying Charlie Woods because the whole thing was fascinating, and the kid is truly the real deal. Cutsy throughout the day has so many things that he is betting on. He has parlays. He has different games. He has different prop bets. So it's kind of like having five fantasy teams. You're playing against players. You're playing for players. We're at the point now with Joseph, if it's not the 9 a.m. Juventus game, on a football Sunday, you don't know what you want to root for him. You want to support him, but he's got so many things going, Mikey V, that you don't know what to root for for him, and it kind of ruins the experience for you. Can you touch on that, Mikey V, before we go over to cold cuts? Because to me, it really does bother me. He's betting the entire board. He loves the action. He loves he the loves action, action. I which mean, is he okay. loves action. He doesn't want to watch a sporting event if he doesn't have a vested interest. I think there's a lot of guys like that, including myself, to be honest. Like, if you're watching, for example, I have it on. It's on commercial right now, but it's Monday night. We're recording for Tuesday. If you're watching this Browns Raiders game, how in the love of God could you watch this game if you're not a Browns yeah. or a Raiders fan without action on it? Because it's unwatchable. Correct. The product in the end. The product in the NFL is unwatchable between COVID and these rule changes and all this. The product in the NFL, for the most part, is almost unwatchable, some of these games, unless you have vested interest in it. So that I get. The Juventus thing, uh, I said in the digest, yeah, once yeah. football season ends, I am a fan of, of Premier like League that. Saturday and Sunday mornings because, again, I need a little action in the morning with my coffee. But, yes, Bob, it does run into the – you do run into the issue where – it gets to the point where you don't even know what you're rooting for. You it's don't even you thing, don't even know what's yes, going on. If, I mean, and, and Bob, I make, that's ridiculous. But, you lost more money than I did this but, week. But the, oh, correct, God. I abs- I absolutely did. But it has nothing to do with the way that it's being bet. If you were to be watching the Raiders Browns game and you just had the Browns money line, no problem. I'll pull for the Browns money line for you. But you have Donovan Peoples Jones over three receptions. No, you don't. And, then you no, he doesn't actually. No, I, I don't. I don't. I was he gonna say actually. we pulled the plug on, on Donovan Donovan people. No, Donovan quite, quite, a, quite a while ago. Yeah, I thought so. All okay. I'm saying, Mikey V, is this guy has an unbelievable uh-huh. amount of bets going on lately in one game that you don't know what to root for. Cold cuts, I'll let you counter. I, I, I mean, there's nothing to counter. The Juventus game was a Champions League match. Okay, it was a big match. That's a big, that's a it wasn't big match. an everyday Saturday game. Is, is is the same as the PNC match was the first time Tiger Woods has been back on the uh, you know in the field in in almost over a year. It's a big match. I put twenty five bucks on sink. And by the way, Bear Down, they came second place. I almost won over two on a twenty five dollar bet. Bear Down, you know what he was doing? You know what I caught him doing? He had the Sink family, which was the father son combination of the Sinks, and of course, <laughs> a good bet. He was up at the TV screaming at Charlie Woods. I mean, he gets the shank. It. Which is fine. I love but I love that. It 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 was it was fascinating to watch, but to see him standing up screaming at the TV, begging for Charlie Woods, a 12-year-old kid, to shank a ball in the woods <laughs> so that the Sink family can take the lead to me was sickening. Absolutely I get sickening. It. I get it. It made it so entertaining, Bob. I believe 25 it. bucks. 25 bucks to get the juices rolling. There's nothing wrong with that. I believe there's it. absolutely nothing wrong with that, Bob. And I got news for you. Maybe if you bet a little bit more, you wouldn't have been down so much because you lost a hell That's of a lot fair. more than That's I did. That's right. Is that a low blow? That's like a TV? pot calling the kettle black, Bob. You lost a lot of money this but, week. But 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 I don't that's think not, I, I just don't think low blow, I just don't Mikey think it, I, I personally I don't think that needs to be published. I don't so think that it's not necessary. about being published, but I, it's like it's like no, but, but it, it is not like the degenerate. But I, don't I lost think... 150 bucks this week, Bob. You lost five times more than what I lost. Oh, oh God. Serious. Mikey V, do you believe? <laughs> Just putting Bob's entire ledger out He's, there for everybody. And by the way, do you know? Who by the way, Bob. By the way, let me just say something. He made it up in cameos in 15 minutes this morning, <laughs> so it's got to be tough pressed. He had 17 cameos in a day and a half. This guy had 95 bucks a pop. 
Yeah, I'd be betting a lot why more are, if I had that. Why is cuts in your pockets like this, Bob? So it's not in the pockets. So I'm sharing a room you with the guy. Like the guy's going off. You sound Every like two a, seconds, I'm you sound coming like out a, of the fucking bathroom in my ginch. <laughs> and the fucking camera's in my face. You sound so like I had a Jake. He's not COVID. You sound like his fucking CPA at this point. Yeah, oh, yeah. Head. I mean, fuck. We, we again, we're in Scottsdale right now, and I wanted to help out the jet. And so it's me, Cutsy, and the jet. Obviously, me and Cutsy known each other for years. So I said to Jet, you know what? You take the king room. Me and Cutsy will do oh, the God. double. The problem that you Good have. For the jet. Good for the jet. Yeah, he deserves it. He does. He, does. he, he sure definitely. Does. If there's one sure guy does. who does, he definitely does. So I said, you know what? I'll go ahead. I'll room with Cole Cuts. Um, his snoring bear down. You wouldn't believe how loud this is. This is not a normal store. And you and, and you know what I'll do? I'm gonna send the jet the video now for him to post of cold. You don't have the video. You don't oh, think I have a video bet, of you? Yeah, oh, he do I have definitely a video? Does. So I said probably Joe, enhanced. I said, Joe, do me a favor. I said, in order for you know, we're gonna be sleeping together. Do me a favor. Could you could you put on the the nose strips? He has the snoring strips that his uncle got for him because his uncle has had to share a room with him and has experienced and endured what I had to endure. So his uncle went ahead and got him these snoring strips. Bear down. It, it, he fell asleep maybe eleven o'clock at night at about one in the morning. I wake up, he's snoring as loud as you could possibly imagine. He blew through the nose strip. So I turn <laughs> I turn to him this to see blasphemy. where this is coming from. And I watch him blow through the nose strip to where the nose strip comes off. That is not true, Bob. Joe, I'm gonna send you the video that of course we have. And I had to sleep on the couch. He is a obnoxiously loud. Sorry, he's just a, I, and I love him. He's my best friend. He's a loud human being. That's what it is. Yeah, my dad's got sleep apnea. It's it's hereditary. Yeah, it's a disease, yeah, I gonna, Bob. I was gonna say there's gotta oh, be a sleep but bear down. There's a is... disease, Bob. You know, you you feel like it's... you'd maybe have a little sympathy for me. Oh, for what I have to do. no sympathy for that whatsoever. You should see the Embassy Suites couch that I slept on in the living room. His snoring <laughs> is oh my lord. Um, gentlemen, we need to get into our top five. OK, and we wanted to make it holiday themed. We want to be in the Christmas spirit. And again, my, Mikey V came in in the Christmas spirit. Um, <laughs> and what we're going to be doing is what it was what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing. I mean, I, I can't even say that you look bad in the sweater because the sweater is phenomenal. The man makes the clothes, not the way the other way around, Joseph. Yeah, I mean, you look great, Bear Down. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dump Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dump Show is brought to you by our good friends at HelloFresh. What is HelloFresh, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. With HelloFresh, you get fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy fun, and most importantly, affordable the way that it should be. The holidays can be hectic, but HelloFresh helps you keep things simple with recipes that cut back on pre-meal prep and cleanup so you can spend less time in the kitchen and more quality time with friends and family. HelloFresh offers 50 and market items to choose from every week, including vegetarian, calorie smart, and gourmet options, providing plenty of variety. It ain't a joke in the kitchen. I'm an absolute disaster. Disaster if I don't have the step by step, if I don't have a company like HelloFresh delivering the groceries to the doorstep and taking me on my way to a damn good meal. I ain't messing around, ladies and gentlemen. Go to HelloFresh.com slash dumb14. That's HelloFresh.com slash dumb14, a dumb one four for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts again hellofresh.com slash dumb one four and get 14 free meals and three free gifts ladies and gentlemen take it from me don't mess around with your food i know i don't hellofresh smash that promo code right there Thanks, for Bob. this evening's top five gentlemen 
We're going to be doing in the Christmas spirit. We're going to be doing our top five Christmas movies of all time. Again, that's top five Christmas movies of all time. Um, The person that I'm most curious to see, because I know he's been ready for this since the last episode. I'm very curious for Mikey V. I I really want to hear what Bear Down has. Um, Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start us off. And then I'm going to head over to Col- to Joey Coldcuts. We're going to close down with Mikey V. And then we're going to have our ourselves a damn good holiday. We're going to have ourselves a damn good Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you may be celebrating. Um, I'm going to get the ball rolling here. Five to one. One being the number one Christmas movie. Number five is my wild card. It's Mikey V's Long Island Iced Tea. Um, I am going with jingle all the way at five i think arnold schwarzenegger is fantastic in it i love the story i grew up on it um i got jingle all the way at five number four the grinch i like yeah there you go i i like the grinch at four go ahead lock me in for the grinch at four number three i got a christmas story good movie however i think you need to add in just how iconic it is and how signature it is to Christmas. Uh, give me the Christmas story at three. Number two, I want to go with Elf. Buddy the Elf, Will oh. Ferrell. I thought he was spectacular. <laughs> at um, two? At two. At two. Oh. I love Elf at two. I think it's an incredible movie. Mm. Um, and then number one, I'm going Home Alone. I think Home Alone oh, has got to be up there Big with Bob. the... Upper Home, Alone, Home Alone one, just so we're clarifying. Correct. Yes, absolutely. Got to be Home Alone mm-hmm. one. Um, I think that's in the upper echelon of Christmas movies. Uh, give me Home Alone at one. And with that, we head on over to Joey Cold Cuts. This should be very interesting. Now, I think I got a good selection and good variety of, of picks um, for the top five here. Uh, I think it, it'll appeal to the masses. A little something for everybody here. Okay, we're going to start at number five. Number five, we're going to go with Elf. Okay, I think it does deserve notable mention. I think it's a good movie, Bob. I don't know. It's number two. What was it? Number two in Bob's list is way too high. Way too high, Bear Down. But I I do think it's good. I think it's a feel-good movie. I I like Will Ferrell. (laughs) I think he provides a good laugh. Number five, give me Elf. Number four, I'm going to go Christmas Vacation. I love me some Chevy Chase. I think he's hysterical. I love the scenes, the different plot. I think it's iconic. The movie at number four, Christmas Vacation, number four. I don't think I can I can go wrong with that. That's my number four movie. All right. Number three, we are going to go with A Christmas Story. This is an absolutely nostalgic movie. The Red R- Rider, BB Gun, you know, everybody's watched it. You know, the old fudge, you know, there's just iconic lines in this movie. Yeah. It, it, it stands the test of time. It's been out for, what, 50, 60 years. It's a great movie. That's my number three. Number two, and Bear Down will appreciate this. Bob will have no idea about this. this movie. Number two, I'm going to go a way back throwback. I'm going to go It's a Wonderful, a wonderful Life. life. Yep. It's a phenomenal movie. Absolutely it is what is. Christmas is all about. It is a feel good story. At the end of that movie, you watch it. And Bobby's clearly never even seen the movie because he's clueless. It is the mist, the Pottersville and everything watching that unfold. It's such a feel good story. Bear down. I, I honestly, I just think it has to be in your top five. If it's not, I don't know what top five movies you're watching. Give me, it's a wonderful life at number two. And then number one, I will double down with Bob home alone to me is the most incredible movie for Christmas. It is. I I've memorized almost the entire movie start to finish it. I think that Kevin McAllister and, you know, Macaulay Culkin in that movie, he's just iconic. It's, it's fucking incredible. Joe Pesci is amazing in the movie. Um, that's my number one. I, I don't even think it's close. Um, that's my five to one, gentlemen. Bear down. are you okay with Joey Coldcut's top five? Are you okay with my top five before we get into I'm your not, top five? I'm more okay with Coldcut's. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I think Elf was too high. I, Elf was Number high. two with Elf is high, Bob. I think it's a great Fair. movie. Yeah. 
I think it's a great it's very movie. high. It's a good movie. And Joey Coltcuts, can we get a little bit of a drum roll, please? Oh, Here we go. Oh, we have been excited for this. For I love Bear. By, by the way, before we start, I, Bear Down's top fives, whether you like them or not, they're the most. I think they, they're just spectated a lot about. There's more speculation about Bear Down's top five. I agree. Than any other top five? I agree. Oh, you're gonna get so speculation. far. Speculation. And 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 whether you like to hate it or love it. I, I think they're sought out. I think Bear Down's very passionate about it. And I respect all of his top fives. Whether I agree with them or not, I think they're great. I think uh, that's why it gets so much speculation is because you know how much Bear Down uh, cares about his top <laughs> five and how much he wants to deliver on his top five and, and just how um, his conviction on his top five, yep. I think it's what makes it so good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a drum roll, please hear this. is Mikey Bear Down. Top five Christmas mu- movies. Bear down, take it away. Uh, okay, number five. Wild card hasn't been mentioned yet. Gonna get absolutely roasted for oh. this one, and I could care less. I could care oh, less. Oh my good god. Okay, number five. Scrooged with Bill Murray. <laughs> Scrooged. <laughs> Bruce with Bill Murray. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. Seek it out because oh, it, is, no. it is it is one of the absolute best Christmas movies you'll ever watch. Bill Murray, classic comedian, brings an absolute different level of intellectual comedy to the Christmas Carol story as, as Scrooge. Scrooged. Unbelievable. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Number four, Die Hard. Bruce Willis. Die Hard <laughs> is a Christmas movie. Nakatomi Plaza, Christmas Eve, Detective John, <laughs> Detective John McClane, John McClane saving everybody, Die Hard, number Is four. it classified as a Christmas movie? Yeah, I know they played around Christmas, but it's a Christmas movie. That's Die always Hard. a big debate, I feel like. Die Hard is a number, is a Christmas movie. It's number four. It's a oh, classic, man. classic film. Number three is going to be the same as these two gentlemen, and it's going to be Fragile. Fragile. Oh, whoa! Number three. Very nice. Christmas story at number three. It's a great movie. Number two, Home Alone. Number two is Home Alone for me. The original Home Alone, I got to tell you, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, is very, very good. And I teed it with putting it over the original Home Alone. That's how good. You can't put it over the original. I'll stick with the original Home Alone at two. And then number one is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's a great movie. I think it's the most classic, watchable, rewatchable Christmas movie there is. Uh, I just, Clark Griswold, you know, Chicago based movie, you know, it's just got all the nostalgia there. It hits different. Um, you know, the, the soundtrack is outrageous. It is. It's just really, really, really good. Sidebar, Bob, have you ever watched Christmas vacation? I, oh, so ma- is, I'll tell you this. So has many not seen it. I <sighs> love to, to bust my dad's shops as if it's his fault for just not showing me a whole lot of movies. How have you ever watched everything Christmas else for vacation, me? dude? There it's was so, there was great so movie. many movies that I have not seen. And you know this, Joseph, even going into it. My movie knowledge is abysmal. It, 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 it is, is abysmal. Bad. And I think part of it is just because me not being able to sit still for three hours is a big issue. Um, two hours, whatever it may be. Um, but a lot of these movies, it kind of hurts me because there's a lot of these that I haven't seen that I need to. Yep. Um, so maybe my list does not do well this week. Your list is lo- you would I'm going to go on a limb and say right now you that your list screws. is absolutely not going to be top. The, the top contender this this time around i think see the only thing that i will say is i think elf performs well with the public oh it'll perform well you'll get uh, oh elf is so great it's so great <laughs> no but you'll, baird you'll on his his good. list his top five this time is not is not in the upper i don't echelon. think i think i think cuts probably wins this top five in terms of popularity i purposely went against the grain with scrooge because again i think scrooge at number five if you haven't seen it and you're laughing hysterically <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. But you should watch it and then tell me it's not a good movie because you won't be able to because you're going to say, holy shit, Bill Murray, this is hysterical. I'm How surprised you didn't put this? the nostalgic It's a Wonderful Life in, in your That's top my. Life. That is my, and we, we do the honorable mentions, Joseph, as you know, we do the honorable mentions and It's a Wonderful Life is 1000% my honorable mention. Uh, I think it, it could easily be interchanged with any top five. It's a great movie. It's a nostalgic classic. It is probably, if you looked at like, the film 
critics and all that it's probably the top christmas movie of all time in terms of like rotten tomatoes film critic shit like yeah. that so uh it's a wonderful life is a great pick it's a great pick i love it honorable mention fellas i gotta tell you this okay we're headed into the new year we're gonna have another episode come tuesday um the boys came for this one. I mean, me and Cole Cuts were on a trip. He ended up coming on the vlog for the Bob the Sports. Bear Down is hosting a party this evening. So I appreciate the hell out of you boys coming on here today. I appreciate you boys in general. Um, just what's come of the Gamblers Digest group chat and um, parlayed that into the podcast, which I'll say it right here is booming right now. I mean, since you guys have came on, um, it really, really, we've seen a spike even in listeners, downloads, the whole nine yards, and it's just been fun. It's been a fun ride. I look forward to this every single week. Um, we hope everybody has a damn good new year. We hope everybody has a damn good holiday. Um, love you, boys. Appreciate all of you followers out there, all of you listeners out there. We love you guys. Um, I will send it over to Joey Coldcuts, and then I'll let uh, Bear Down close down if you boys have any words here for the new year. No, I, I don't have much to say. I, I just really enjoy doing this segment with both of you gentlemen. I think that you guys are class acts and I think that we got something special here and I would be remiss if I didn't say that 2022 is the year of the boys. And I, I, I really see big things coming here. I feel like we've gained a lot of momentum. Um, I feel like, uh, you know, everything we got with our prize picks and, and between the, the, the podcast and the whole nine yards, this is, this is a trio that's coming for blood. And, and you know, I, I, I just – I care about you both immensely. I know I get under Bear Down skin sometimes, but you guys like a brother to me. Uh, I'm, and, and, and Bobby, obviously, you're, you're, you're just an absolute class act. I really think that we come out guns blazing in 2022. Definitely. And I don't think there's anything that can really stop us at this point. Um, I hope everybody listening has a happy holidays. I won't just say Merry Christmas because there's a lot of people celebrating a lot of different, you know, you know, festive, um, you know, traditions. So to all of you listening, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, please, if you don't listen already, do yourself a favor and start out your, you know, your 2022 on the right foot by yeah. giving us a listen, because I, I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Wow. Very well said, Joseph. Very well said. And now to close down uh, 2021 here is our guy, Mikey bear down cuz who has just absolutely brought it for us this year and, and taken brilliantly dumb, the brilliantly dumb show, Joey cold cuts to a whole new level prize picks. He has delivered weekend week out really making a name for himself. And if there's somebody you're going to buy stock in Mikey bear down, cuz is your guy bear down closes down. You know, uh, this year, this year, so many different things, so many challenges, so many, uh, you know, cuts hit the nail on the head with a lot of things in terms of the pod and, and how great it's been. And I really do think there's nothing stopping the three of us for next year. I think if you're not aboard now, you better jump on a board because I, I do think that this is going to get taken to a whole new level next year. I, I truly do believe that in my heart. Uh, but that aside and all that fun stuff aside, this is not an easy year for a lot of people. We're still kind of stuck in the doldrums of this bullshit pandemic that unfortunately is still affecting so many people on a daily basis, whether it's professionally, uh, personally with your families. And if there's anything that you could take from this, hopefully this has provided you a little levity from that. And it's provided you some opportunity to just have a couple laughs and not take yourself so seriously and not take life as seriously, even if it's only for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is. Uh, that's important to us. And that's why we do it because we need that too. The three of us also need that uh, in our daily lives because it is not, not an ideal situation out there for anybody. So if you're thinking that things aren't going great for you and you're thinking that, you know, you've got things hard, make no mistake about it. All three of us are experiencing the same kind of challenges and we're going through the same kind of things. And that's why we're just trying to deliver content to you. That is, that is similar to what you guys are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. We're going to continue to do that. We're never going to stop doing that. We're here for you guys. That's why we do it every week. That's why these guys are doing it when they're on vacation. That's why I'm doing it when I got some of my best friends over my house, because we find it that important to deliver stuff like this. So on a serious note, Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, whatever you celebrate. God bless all you. We love all you. Continue to listen, spread the word, and let's just knock 2022 out of the fucking park. Folks, that does it. Another edition 
of the Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you in 2022, ready to fire like we've never fired before. Boys, I appreciate you. I love you. Happy holidays.